Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It is Tuesday morning, and that's the name of a store. Oh, it is, huh? <laughs> that's where. That's the name of the store where you got the um, the welly wishers. The welly wishers from which we have one more left, which we thought would never sell, and bam, they just started selling. <laughs> yep. But uh, yeah, Tuesday morning we have I think eight eBay orders to pull this morning. Uh, we also have we're going to be showing y'all some treats. Uh, we. We had someone reach out to us from TryTreats.com, asked us if we would uh, like one of their boxes of treats, and that's a good way to get to us is to just offer us food. Some so, we, yeah. <laughs> so we, of course, we accepted, and uh, I thought that while we're pulling orders, maybe we could try a few of these treats. There will be a link down below with a code. You could save like 15%. It's 15% off your first order with um, using the code shed flips. And we'll put all that below in the uh, description of the video. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go pull an order. And Candace is going to pop it open and find me a, something to... You need something with your coffee? I need something to snack on with my coffee. Okay. But they have some other... Like a lot of these treats are international. Yeah. Um, and there, there, are, there are some like... I think there could be some like strange things which i'm i'm down to eat but just not first thing in the morning with my coffee so okay here's something sweet right on top so we'll start with Mar that maracas mm, okay well we're, we'll try that first I'll pop it open. okay all right first up is on nine charlie I'm trying to remember i think we paid like a Either a dollar or two dollars for these two cups. You remember anything about these? Yeah, they are. I can picture the sale we got them at. Me too. And I don't, but I don't remember the price. It, it wasn't much. Though. No, it would have been like super cheap. It might have even been like fifty cents or something. Yeah. I don't. I just don't remember. We should have kept them, Paul. Yeah, Maul. I could tell you in the morning. Come and get your coffee. Maul, come get your coffee. <laughs> Looks like he's making coffee in a crawfish pot right here. Though. <laughs> no. Look, look at that. Oh yeah, he's stirring it up. Look at this one. It's cowboy and cowgirl. It look it reminds me kind of the Snuffy Smith or whatever. But those uh that set of coffee mugs sold for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. All right, uh, our first thing is Marocas. It's by Nestle. Um and it looks like it may have some caffeine or something in it. It says like energy there. So mm -hmm. let's try it out. Oh, it's an energy cookie? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm I'm down for that. Let's see ya. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I thought it was a sandwich. Mm. Yeah, it's like a little biscuit cookie. Yeah, Not bad. Yeah. It's got a little bit of chocolate on it. Standard cookie there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go pull something else. Next thing, I was shocked when these sold. I listed these Pam Anderson. Y'all, we talked about them in the last video. Y'all remember? Listed these Pam Anderson um, photo sticker sets yesterday, and not too long after i listed it somebody bought three of them why can't i open this thing here we go somebody bought three of them so that was pretty awesome so we sold three sets and have them rubber banded like that for basically 45 dollars plus shipping on top for those three all right digimon drawer we sold some kind of well or something. Ah, this right here. It's a wishing well. Is that what, <laughs> that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, I meant to price that at 15 and I, I did a sale similar and forgot to change the price. So somebody got a deal. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. $9.99 plus shipping on top for this well. Okay. What you got now? Jacobina? It's a product of the Philippines. Jacobina. <laughs> it's from the Philippines. Oh, so yeah, it's probably not Italian. I, I'm assuming it's sweet. It kind of feels like a little biscuit cookie. It looks... Let's see. Oh, they're little bitty wafer things. Huh? That's interesting. It's like got what? layers. Here, try that. All right. Let's see. Mm. It's kind of like toast. It's not mm. sweet at all. I was expecting sweet and it's not it's like a little cracker no it's just little crackers mm -hmm. okay 
They're pretty good. Yep. Six Delta. We sold these books right here. Manga. PhD fantasy degree. It's a... Uh, three books i don't know if it's a whole set or not but you have books one two and three of that these sold for 14.99 plus shipping on top we got that from the storage unit guy right oh yeah we did so they were uh like 50 cents no three for a dollar yeah. is what they were that's yeah. how he, that's how much he charged mm -hmm. for his books all right lonnie i got some jello shots okay i'm gonna hold off i'm gonna hold off on mine because i still have cracker in my in my mouth I don't want to mix with the jello, but oh, you go ahead and try it. Okay, I can't tell what country it is. Okay. You know, what could go wrong? Gelatinous. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's good? Is it like jello? Tastes like strawberry jello. Okay. Not bad. This is in the little shop farm you're squeezing in your mouth. Huh. You just want a little taste of jello. Here, open mine up. I only have one hand. Okay. I'll try. I'll try it too. I'm curious. Okay, just squeeze it in there. All right. Pop it in. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is Jello, but I mean, just the texture and consistency of Jello is weird coming out of a room temperature <laughs> little cup. What flavor was yours? Lime. Green flavor. Green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10 Foxtrot. We sold a Harry Potter puzzle. Here we go. Thousand piece Harry Potter Hogwarts puzzle. That's actually really cool looking. Look at this scene, kids. Is it Kim's. good? I know, it's a jigsaw. No, no, jigsaw puzzle. That, the, lo, Molly got for Christmas these Harry Potter, Lonnie Potter little wooden puzzles. And it's like, one of them was the owl and one was a bird. Real three-dimensional puzzle. Yeah, it's a, it's a little book and puzzle set I found at Sam's Club. But yeah, this sold for how much? $14.99 plus shipping on top. Then on 10 Echo, we sold a NECA fig. Here it is. Of pre from Predator 2. This is a lost predator. Uh box has a little bit of damage. But it's never come out of the box. This sold for $26.77 plus shipping on top. How about some margarita to finish off our jello shot? They're little look like little cookies. Okay. Um, margarita, doesn't that mean daisy in Spanish? I have I have no idea. I think that's why they're called. Does it that. mean daisy? What do you mean? Because they're shaped like daisies. I think that's what margarita means in Spanish there. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay. I like them. Yeah, I mean it's okay. It's a light little cookie. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 okay. I haven't tasted anything where I was like yum yet, but we'll see. It's coming. All right, all we have left are a couple of large orders. I think UPS orders. That's all the USPS packed up over there. Candace just grabbed some bag with a squid or something on it. Yeah, it's a cuttlefish. I'm trying to see what country it's from. Malaysia? Okay, great. Okay. Meow meow, the house of snacks. All right, let's try it. How bad can it be? They look like puffy little things. It says crackers, I don't know. We like um, we like sushi, so. I yeah, some, I, I hope that ain't raw fish. I need some fish. All right, while she's getting that open, two Delta. We sold this guy right here. This is, is that a deer? A couple of deer there? Yeah. Yes, deer. It's a Griswold. Family vacation. It's um, like a meat tray. So the little. That's a basting a, thing or something? Yeah, and this is to kind of let the juices flow into the well. Oh, yeah. it's a resting tray for meat maybe? Or, or carving or whatever. Oh, okay. I wouldn't want to carve on metal though, because that could dull up your knives. Okay. Maybe just a serving tree. Well, that thing sold for forty-four ninety-nine plus shipping on top. Do you remember where we got it or how much we paid for it? At a local garage sale. With some people that do um, storage unit cleanouts. And soon as I got out the vehicle, it was like sitting right there, and I, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. 
because those kind of deer moti motifs is usually mid-century modern so do you remember what you paid for it maybe like two bucks oh that's it yeah it oh you got it real cheap a real cheap yeah i was oh. i was surprised okay so that's a big win then you ready uh yeah i guess so they look like little tentacles <laughs> You want to go first or you go at the same time? You go first. Let's see what I want to see your face. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like Funyuns. That's what it looks like. Tastes like a Funyun. Right? Mm. There's like no fishy or seafoody flavor at all to me. Are you getting anything? It's okay. I mean, yeah, it's just... It's like a Funyun with a little sweetness it's to it. It's a little harder than a Funyun, though. It's not as soft as a yeah. Funyun. Huh. Oh, that last piece was fishy. Try another one. I got a little fishy aftertaste. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, it's not gross. It's, it's okay. I don't think I can eat a whole bag. Of it's it. okay. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't buy. It. I haven't tasted anything yet that I, if I saw it at like Walmart, that I'd be like, oh, that's that thing we tried. I want to buy that. The longer like the flavor sits in your mouth, the more the fish. Yeah, I don't love it honestly. Yeah. You, yeah, it's a little fishy. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh. I mean, it does have a squid on it, so like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of saw it coming. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I thought this was funny. Candace is going through some beanie baby stuff made some lots and whatnot <laughs> check this out look a thai beanie baby credit card yeah mastercard look they got a bear with a mastercard logo on his nose oh apply today for the only car that come oh it came with a beanie i bet that's a rare beanie now everybody calls their beanies rare i bet that one is rare it might be yeah i'm gonna have to look that up 2001 uh, does anybody need a bag full of like 20 owls that have class of 1998 on them? Yeah. Because we got them. Yeah. Like seriously, that, that, that whole bag right there is full of owls that say class of 1998. Yeah. And yeah. I, I did pull one out for Molly. I don't know if she has it already or not. Uh, yeah. So these, I, are, these have an error now. Yeah. The date on the tag doesn't match their tush tag. <gasps> <gasps> okay, a thousand a piece. Yeah. This is like if, if we were on storage wars right now, we'd say, Oh, error. Look, that's a... here's one that sold for five hundred. Yeah, okay. Well we got we got twenty of those. Okay, ten thousand dollar bag all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ten thousand dollar bill all day. These are getting donated. Yeah. All right, I got one more thing to pull, but Candace wants me to try another one of these snacks. All right, these are like real onion rings instead of fish ones. Okay. Can you these, open it? These are also from Malaysia. Man, their packaging is crazy. Like, I could find my scissors earlier. Oh, there's some down there. <laughs> so I have to use a box knife. <laughs> Those are onion rings. They look, again, it looks like Funyuns. Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. Those yeah. are good. These are good. They are. They have, like, a lot of flavor. Yeah. The, the, the bite is good. The flavor is good. Good size. Mm -hmm. No, they're perfect. These are really good. I would totally mm. buy these at the store. Okay. First thing I would buy. What are they called? Uh, the onion ring? They're by Meow Meow also. Meow Meow. Mm -hmm. They're good. All right. We're going to try mm. these little chocolate shake. Wait, 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 wait. Can we cleanse our palate, please? Can we come on? you need on. a mint? I have some mints. <laughs> I just need a minute. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Let me pull the next order. Okay. These are little chocolate shakes. Do you want to eat it now? Go ahead. Try one. Okay. They're called Milkita chocolate shake candy. It's hard. Mm. You have to suck on this. Okay, I'm Pull not. Pull your thing. I'm gonna give you a feedback. Do what? Pull my thing. <laughs> Pull my thing in a feedback. What'd you say? <laughs> Go pull your order, and I'll give you feedback in a second. Okay. <laughs> go pull my thing. All right, I'm gonna go pull my thing, y'all. <laughs> All right, we, we sold the vacuum cleaner last night. I sent offers out last night, 10%, and somebody bought the vacuum cleaner. The uh, rainbow. Speaking of vacuum cleaner, you want to tell them about your return? Oh, hang on one second. Mm. Okay, so bought 
this vacuum cleaner for twenty dollars at a garage sale yeah. and it's sold it one. for 135 dollars plus ship had it priced at 150 but then did like i said the offer thing we also had a hose that goes from here to the power head and i put <laughs> we sold that last week Got a return open yesterday, and again, it's a it's not a return. It's not like item not as described or anything like that. They're paying to ship it back, and I'm not going to refund the original shipping. But they said it doesn't fit their electric sweeper for a return sweeper reason. Sweeper from a rainbow vac. I don't know what that means unless they're talking about those little stick vacuums. Yeah, but I don't understand why they thought it would fit if they didn't have this vacuum cleaner. So. I don't know. It's just one of those things. One of those things you got to deal with, I guess. But uh, I'm just glad they used the correct reason for the return. So I don't have to fight fight the shipping charges or anything like that. So, well, we'll get it. I'll check it out. And then we'll relist it and hopefully sell it again. Okay. Chocolate milkshake is like a Tootsie Roll, but it's just harder. That sounds horrible. <laughs> that doesn't nobody ever ate it did you ever eat a tootsie roll and say man that's pretty good i just wish it were harder <laughs> nobody said that the flavor was good but it took me a while to chew it because yeah okay so so far i gotta be honest like so far the cookies or whatever they're fine they're these just cookies are, these are bomb those are good oh. everything else so far what do we have a lot left in there nope Let's... we got some little stuff no just some little little thing okay We'll check that out in a little bit. I'm I'm gonna have to get this thing packed. I do have a couple of medium boxes I'm gonna uh, utilize to pack this vacuum up. Just wanted to give y'all a little look at how I was packing this. I have this medium box, and um, I have the the vacuum cleaner. I've broken down into like here's the actual canister itself. We also have this part here that hose and then these two, these things here um and that that's all fine most of that i definitely need to get have this protected so it doesn't crack or anything which i'll do but uh i thought this was a kind of a good way to sort of pseudo double box i took one of my small boxes and wrapped it around the unit like that and then anywhere there was a fold, I just cut. And so now I can just do this and then tape that down. And that'll be a little bit of a protective shell around the canister itself. All right, show them, Candace. <laughs> so that ends up being one small box and two medium boxes. And um, did have some extra... It was actually smaller than I predicted whenever I listed it. So uh did have a little extra money. Which covers the materials. Which covers the materials. And the drive. Yeah, so it's good. Um, it feels solid, huh, Candace? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we have double wall everywhere. Uh, and then we also have the canister itself is in a in its own box, really. So that worked out good. We're going to grab some lunch. And oh, Candace has more snacks. Here's your lunch. No, that is not my lunch. I'll probably, <laughs> sesame snack. Oh, that sounds interesting. Honey flavored. So, wait, what does it say on it? Just can't tear into it. Well, yeah, you can. Amki sesame snack. Yeah, I know. What's the theme here? Is there a theme? Snack. What is this? Uh, I get that's that. The theme. No, that's not. According to their website, it's like different, different countries or something. These look like those little Nature Valley bars. I know. I agree. But they're smaller and they're stuck together. Looks like granola bar. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's really sweet. Hmm. Mm. It's it's good. Real honey. It's, yeah. Yeah, honey. It's good. It's, it's fine. Good. It's fine. And then for the road, we're gonna get one of these. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Do you want that? This has a little bit of kick to it too. Just a little bit, huh? A little bit of twang. Mm -hmm. so this is a good little snack. I like that. I'm not a big fan of sesame seeds, but that's good. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. These are just some little hard candies. They're, I can't read any of the writing on it. So. Mm. Uh, okay. I imagine it does about what every other hard candy I've ever 
Is mm. it just a hard candy or is it no. like? That's good. Tastes like green apple. All right, I'll pop one in my mouth. Let's see. A red one. Oh, it's a strawberry probably. Oh no, cherry. Picture a cherry on the back. Mine's got hmm. really intense flavor. Hmm. Yeah, is mine that, does too. Is that red apple maybe? Hmm, it is apple. Mm -hmm. I take I take it back. And you know what? It tastes like an apple. The huh? flavor, yeah, the fla it's not it's not like Jolly Rancher apple flavor. No, it tastes real. It actually tastes like a real apple. It's like if you've ever had a jelly belly. The, you know the jelly belly beans it tastes like like the popcorn it actually tastes like popcorn and you know things like that the rotten egg actually tastes like rotten not egg. those i'm talking <laughs> about the good ones but yeah that's what this is like they actually nailed the flavor somehow they fit mm -hmm. an apple into that yeah, little candy good. Mm -hmm. that's good all right so we're gonna eat some lunch and bring this to ups and that other one too we have two packages yep and then we'll be back and we're also bringing some stuff to uh goodwill because they're such a good organization all right all the packages are out and i'm just gonna come over here and grab something to list i'm gonna check this typewriter out i'm gonna start just i mean we've had stuff that is just sitting here for a long time and uh yeah need to get to it get through it if we don't if we don't want to then we're gonna donate it donate toss or list yeah. I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and list this. I have no I, I don't remember getting it or anything. The keyboard looks pretty clean. It looks okay. Well, hopefully it works. Yeah. I remember paying like five bucks for this or something. I think self demo. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, typewriters always sell good for us. They do, and they usually sell pretty fast. They sell. They they usually sell within a few days, and I usually don't price them. Like I'm not pricing typically on these typewriters. Like. To beat everyone like i'm not trying to race to the bottom i usually put these kind of things at like either mid level of comps or maybe even to the high end mm -hmm. usually i want to get at least 60 70 dollars i don't like going below that typically so do, i wonder do a lot of people just not even bother trying to test them do they just say I don't know. I can't imagine not testing a typewriter yeah. before shipping it. All you it. have to do is put a piece of paper in there and type. Yeah, right. And then if it, you know, like the ribbon may not be good or whatever. But usually what I find though is the ribbons, usually the, the ribbon that's exposed, flip that, yeah. The ribbon that's like, that's in there now that's exposed, that'll be dried up. But then once you type a button, like, if once you get into the ribbon that's actually rolled up, it's not dried up. So usually you have to type a little bit before it starts working. So. Mm. But Candace got some more of these little snack things out. Yeah, we're gonna finish off this box. So this is Dolcetto wafer rolls. Let's see how those are. Yeah, I'll save this for later. This is a this is pretty you like good. That, huh? Yeah, that was good. And the uh, the little onion things were good. Wherever the heck they're at. Did they're you eat them? They're in my belly. Oh, you ate them? Okay. Yeah. These are uh, those little wafer cookies. They're good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Those are really good. That's what I'm talking about. That's a winner there. Yeah. That's a winner. Those are good. They're a perfect, product of Indonesia. Perfect coffee time snack. I like that. All right. These are seriously strong peppermint. Triple X. Didn't Pamela Anderson have a movie called that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really. Uh, I, you won't believe me, but I really don't know anything about Pamela Anderson. Never cared about her. And I did not steal that sticker to stick. Like, what would I do with that sticker if I stole it? <laughs> well, am I going to stick it somewhere where you can't see it? <laughs> you know, like, I don't get it. Okay, these say... Um, Dublin, so maybe these are from Ireland. I'm not sure. Okay, they've got UK on there also. Seriously I, strong, huh? Yeah, okay. I'm I want to now. I'm assuming it's probably like a big Altoid, yeah, because Altoids are curiously strong. These are big, strong, these okay, are seriously ready? strong. Get out of there. It's one of those kind that's a little porous, chalky. Mm hmm that's the, that's the term chalky it is strong mm -hmm. i'm chewing mom mm. mm hmm yeah. it's one of those kind 
that you could almost just like suck on it and it melt kind of melt away slowly mm -hmm. it is very strong peppermint and i like it it's good you know what the third ingredient is sugar pork gelatin who pork gelatin so it's not vegan necessarily no <laughs> <laughs> nope right. okay those are good i like those so i like i like these i like the wafer rolls the honey thing is okay. I don't like how hard it is. And the onion rings. And the onion things were good. And then we have some more. This is like that apple candy. It looks like maybe a yellow honey crisp apple. And then we do have a strawberry one. So we'll try those. I'll save those for later. It, it was fun. To, it was fun to eat it and was, try it. It was good. It was not like really adventurous, I don't think. No. Except for maybe that, yeah, the nasty cuttlefish but, um, <laughs> if you want to try it out for yourself there is a link down below and like i said you'll get 15 percent off with the code shed flips on your first order they're fun for kids to try out candy from other countries so yeah i don't expect i don't expect that we're going to get a uh, recurring deal after this after this little product <laughs> review but i mean i can't i can't stand here and tell y'all i loved it when i didn't you know. No, it was not a love thing, but it wasn't a hate thing either. No, no, no. I don't hate it. And I, I definitely appreciate them sending us some uh, snacks. Cause... There were some gems in there, though. No, I like, I really like these. These are good. I wonder if we can buy these around here. Probably so. Seriously strong, extra strong mints. These are yeah. good. Okay, I'm keeping these. You can okay, have the rest you can of have it. have your pork gelatin mints. My pork gelatin. Gross. Why do you have to put <laughs> pork, pork? I would never expect there to be because it's probably all natural products instead of using artificial stuff so yeah but man what if what that's if that's you... what's in your hog head cheese what yeah but i'm not a vegan what if you gave one of those to a vegan and later on they discover they had pork gelatin in there oh hey you have a mint yeah I sure do let me grab one out <laughs> <laughs> all right let me let me get to this typewriter now test it up and it looks like the typewriter from the floor over there works y'all can see up here like i was talking about it was it wasn't typing anything on the first line and then the more i typed by the time you get down here it looks it looks perfect it looks great right there so i'll just test a little more i'll try the correct a lot of times your correction ribbon just doesn't work but i'm gonna try it out i'll clean it up i'll do a new uh, i don't do videos for these anymore i used to but i'll do a new uh test page typewriter test for ebay or something like that and then i'll take my photos and list it all right i've broken out the cards i'm going to there's a basketball game tonight i'm gonna watch it out here and list some cards if that's okay with you lsu yeah man the women are undefeated huh uh yeah yeah i didn't, had no idea <laughs> i mean they're i know like they're, 16 and 0 are they are they number one in the country i don't know Okay. I just saw the article yesterday that they were undefeated. Okay, good for them. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Happy for them. You gotta go to a game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sounds sounds uh sounds horrible, honestly. <laughs> but we've been listening to all kind of little piddly stuff today. Well, I did list a typewriter, and then Candace listed a ton of her her num her new number for these Walmart pens. This is the total number of listings so far. Two thousand four hundred and nineteen dollars. We probably got about 40, 50 pins left. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna be around three thousand, I think. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> I, they have been selling though. Like, what's the number you said that it sold? Now that now we now probably we've sold some since then, but yeah, a few days ago it was over three hundred fifty. So uh, we're probably over four hundred now because we had one day the one the other day we had like sixty dollars go out. Yeah. So yeah, those yeah. are doing what we can here doing what we can over here uh oh you know you know what else we can do speaking of cards yeah here we go i'm a real card um i tried to fix my clogged toilet found a wooden shoe in there clogged clogged oh. yeah that's a yeah that one's not very that's a good thing not very snappy <laughs> uh why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants four no, in case he got a hole in one. Oh. <laughs> you should like a good golf joke. You play golf all day. Okay. The recipe said set the oven to 180 80 degrees. But now I can't open it because the door faces the wall. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> That's actually not. Okay. We'll do one more. Uh, I know a lot of jokes about retired people. 
but none of them work. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh they're getting worse and worse yeah i know they started out the first That's couple like they put the good ones on top yeah they put all the crap in the middle of the thing so. yeah well that's going to be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching y'all and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all